Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Well, yeah, actually, it is morning as I'm filming this video, and holy shit, like, I, I'm seeing that you can see how long my hair has gotten, and it is ridiculously long. <laughs> what the actual fuck? But anyways, that's not the point. You might be wondering why, or where, or probably you don't even care, but I'm not in my room. I'm actually... I'm actually in Washington for the weekend. Well, it's probably Sunday when you guys are watching this video, so that means I was already here for four days, and now I'm probably home chilling and enjoying the rest of every time I have left before Monday comes back. Anyway, I'm here because I flew in on Thursday to come visit my sister and my sister-in-law, and I couldn't be more excited because today is Saturday. I'm sorry, I gotta see what day it is today. Saturday, October 24, which means we're going to go to Halloween Town. Halloween Town is one of the best fucking movies I've ever watched since I was a kid. That's like literally my childhood. And the fact that an hour or so we're actually going to experience it is going to be one of the most freaking amazing things ever. Uh, my sister Molly, you guys already know her, my sister's already showed me the Facebook page and they actually have the jack-o-lantern and the building where City Hall took place in the movie and it's a freaking staple like in the entire Halloween town. Like you go and you see the giant pumpkin or the jack-o-lantern and you're like, holy crap, you're in Halloween town. So on another note, while we do that, I'm actually here in this Airbnb, which is this room that you're seeing, which has two twin beds and actually let me get you a little impromptu room tour because why the hell not? As you walk in, you see this helicopter right here. There is a lint roller that I bought, and that there is a little bit of sand that I actually got from Cannon Beach, which you guys have probably already seen those stories that I've been posting, but anyway. Bed that I have not slept in, and actually these beds, they're so uncomfortable. I've literally been crashing on the couch for like the last three days and I'm probably gonna do that again tonight because the couch is more comfortable than these beds. Up here we see this nice oil canvas painting, which I don't even know if it is a painting, but old school cars. I like it. And then we have over here this nightstand, which my sister actually gave me this, which is awesome because I can actually read this on the flight back tomorrow. I just finished reading this on the flight here. Of course, my laptop is right there, and it is Croc season, and of course, you know I have to get these bad boys in the gray, because my favorite color. And then we have over here, the other twin bed, which I did not sleep in because, again, uncomfortable AF. And more canvas paintings. And then, my closet. Bam! I have to hang up all my stuff because why the hell not? And my costume is actually in this closet right now, and I don't know. Should I let you guys know what I'm gonna be? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to go as one of the characters from the Elite on Netflix series. And I could not be more excited because just last night, no, actually just yesterday morning, my sister and I, we actually ended up sewing the red trimming toward the blazer and <laughs> it looks good. Like, let me just show you. We've got the maroon pair of pants here. We have the white button down with the classic red and white striped tie. Of course, if you know Elite, you know that there are a whole bunch of prestigious rich prep snobs, so I have to play the part. And of course, this blazer. If you can see the red trimming on this blazer, that is what you call a committed sister. So I'm gonna get ready right now. The next time you'll probably see me is going to be in Halloween Town and decked out in full costume. I'll probably have my sister go ahead and give you the full costume tour. And you guys can decide if the costume looks legit or not. I haven't put it on yet, so I'm gonna be just as excited if I put it on. So I'll keep you guys in the know. Okay, for real. I gotta get ready now, so I will see you guys in Halloween Town, so. Well, it's much later now and we finally made it. We're actually gonna go in there right now and yeah, my hair is down today because it's really cold outside and we're literally by the water. Originally, I had my hair up, but I feel like why not, you know, looks good down. What do you say, sister? What's your costume? It's like Casa de Papel. Money Heist? She's one of the characters from Money Heist. Well, she's her original. because yeah, I don't have my Well, she's got here. her mask on, but not this mask, but the other mask, but. Ooh, we're gonna be so dope. Oh, look, we're literally, I can see that that's the actual. Is that City Hall from where fucking uh, Calabar was? But, dude, I am so hyped. We're about to go in right now, and I'll let you guys see my costume a little bit later, and yeah, we'll see you inside. <laughs> oh, this is so dope. That's the cab from the movie. <laughs> Look, it's the oh, the the, the fuck the freaking yeah, it's the oh my god, I can't think of it. It's the dentist place where they got that vampire thing. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it inside, and holy crap, like this place, like it's the exact same replica as the actual movie, and like look at 
It's like the city hall. The cab. Look, is that Benny up in there? <laughs> you see Benny up in that cab? Oh, he's got a partner in there now. <laughs> There's the psychic cab sign. Insane. And of course, the spirit of Halloween Town. Dope. Mm. This is City Hall. And then I have this Casa de Papel figura filming me. <laughs> what they don't know is I'm filming them as well. This hair is messy AF. Uh, bad hair aside, City Hall up there was where Calabar appeared. And everyone here, the citizens of Halloween Town, were mesmerized. The pumpkin right here, surprisingly, it's a lot smaller than in the actual film because everything on film makes it look a lot bigger. But see? It's small. Like, I took a couple of photos there. Well, my sister actually took a good photos of me, and they turned out pretty good. You probably already saw them because I might have posted them, but if I haven't posted them just yet, well, you'll see them pretty soon. We lost Kristen and the others, but we're gonna go find them right now and see what else we get into. We should take a shot here. We're shot here? Yeah, me too. This is, these are cool. I like that. Yeah, we can do that. And you're gonna throw it in the bag as hard as you can, okay? Wait, look what's gonna happen. Look, look. I'm just gonna go like this. Whoa. Thank you, you two. Thank you, thank you. Now let's try one more time. It's pretty simple. One, two, and then it's three. So I, I, look, look, it's gonna. When they say three, you're gonna throw the bag as hard as you can, okay? Whoa. Two, three. Whoa, not that hard. That was really hard. Wait. Sorry, try, try one more time. Sorry, that was too hard. Not so hard, okay? okay. There you go. Now we're gonna do it one more time, okay? Okay, everybody here is gonna go one, two, three, right? Okay. One, two, three! Listen to this again! Yes! And up! No. Wait a minute. How did you do that? Look at this. Look what you did. Oh my god. How did you do it? Whoa. Wow! Give it up a big round of applause! Made it inside the haunted house and oh my god, like, it's so... It's so freaky creepy up in here, but you know what? I'm here for it. I'm supposed to actually keep my mask on this whole time, but I'm gonna keep it on and then I'm gonna keep going. One cool thing about this is that they were actually playing the level of Super Mario 64 where he's actually downstairs in the uh, haunted house level. Like it was a little creepy carnival level. I don't know the actual name of it, but oh my god, this is so cool. Like, it's dope. Also, sorry that this vlog is all over the place, but oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Did you guys hear it, Kristen? This kind of looks like the Exorcist kind of Exorcist style. They did? I didn't even see that. Oh, dude, that is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That there was just creepy. Okay, so it's a little bit later now and we finally exited the haunted house and now we actually stopped to get a little bit of a late lunch and an early dinner. We are actually at the Plymouth Pub and you know, being the good people that we are, still keeping our masks on. My camera woman, my sister. I'm super freaking starving right now, so let's see what is good right now. I actually think I see that steak and blue salad on here. Top sirloin steak, grilled the way I like, sliced and placed on top of greens with crumbled blue cheese, tomatoes, red onion, and bell peppers. My choice of dressing. Honestly, that sounds like a bomb ass choice, so I'm about to dig in and enjoy it. Well, it is a little bit later and we finally made it back to the Airbnb and I'm exhausted. I literally never thought that Halloween Town would be that awesome. Though it was small, I mean, it's just one of those things that you have to experience once to just get the whole effect. Like, holy crap, like that was amazing. Like. We should probably do that again often, but it was good. Other than the fact that I was freezing, I was literally just wearing my blazer. So now I'm gonna get dressed and put on some cozy sweatpants and just enjoy the last night that I'm here because I do fly back tomorrow and I had a great time here in Seattle and in Oregon and just traveling, just, it was a great weekend. <laughs> God. Oh my god, this is so comfortable. You have no idea how comfortable this is. But yeah, I had a great time here in the Northwest Coast and I'm looking forward to traveling more and more and yeah, I guess that's the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, seeing my boring stories and my boring weekend and hopefully there will be more travel vlogs coming up and sorry that this whole vlog was kind of awkward because oh my god, these are, oh my god, it's been a while since I vlogged and it's like 
I forgot how to vlog. <laughs> I'm sure you guys already understand, but anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you back in Wisconsin in the next video. Take care, guys. And yeah, bye.